In a recent video, I was showing how you can use the J, K, and L keys to quickly scan the timeline here inside of Premiere Pro. So if I press the L key to play, press the L key again to speed things up, and again. So yes, Premiere Pro was playing this back, but what it was also doing was doing a fantastic job of maintaining the pitch of my voice while increasing the speed of this video playback. And I'll show you another example just here where I've got some music. So I'll press the L key, L again to speed up, L again. Okay, so same as before, uh, things are speeding up, but the actual pitch of the music in this case is actually staying the same. Now this is fantastic, and it's a fantastic default, probably one that you want to stick with, but there are times when you actually want to hear your voice like a chipmunk. So you know that traditionally when something is sped up, you actually hear the pitch increase. So sometimes with an increased pitch, you may more readily be able to identify something that you're looking for. So if you want to hear yourself as a chipmunk, you can go up under the preferences, under audio, and of course if you're on a Windows machine, look at the bottom of the edit menu, and inside of here we're looking for a preference. Maintain pitch while shuttling. If I turn this off, press OK, let's come back to the example of my training voice just here. So let's speed things up just now. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time. And again. And this also works in reverse as well. So if I press the J key. And again. And again. Okay, so again, maybe not the best example of this particular video, but you get the idea. There's going to be times when that pitch change will actually help you identify things when scanning at a quick speed. And let's listen to our music now. I'll speed it up now. And let's play that in reverse. Very cool. Okay guys, so I hope that helps. So that's how you can maintain the pitch, or not maintain the pitch, when shuttling through the timeline in Premiere Pro.